Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm excited to show you one of the all-time best traps I've ever found for catching rats. This is my pet rat. He's pretty friendly, but wild rats are destructive, they're smart, and they're notoriously difficult to catch. Well, the trap I'm going to show you today is the ultimate rat catching machine. It's called the Ulick Repeater, and it was first patented by Matthew Ulick of Greenleaf, Kansas on May 14th, 2013. I first heard about this trap from a YouTube viewer named Chris who sent me an email with a link to a video. I watched that video and what I saw was a live catch trap that comes in three different sizes. A large version for catching raccoons, a medium version for catching cats and opossums, and a smaller version for catching rats. Well, I really wanted to get my hands on this trap, but I couldn't find it for sale on any website. But at the end of Matthew Ulick's YouTube video, he did leave instructions on how to get one. Give me a holler on the computer, Ulick Repeater, at yahoo.com so that's exactly what i did i sent an email to the inventor matthew ulick and i bought this trap with a check for 200 dollars plus 50 dollars for shipping which is a good deal because this thing weighs a ton and i can't wait to test it out but first we need to put it together let's go get the tools and see what it looks like when it's fully assembled first we'll slide out the door and take out the top of the trap this thing is heavy Now we can remove the 10 screws on the side, attach the top, and tighten everything back down. Well, that feels really solid. Let me show you how this works. On the top of the trap is a hopper for the bait. It's angled so the bait will slide down as the animals eat it. There's a lid that slides on and the magnet holds it in place. Now, animals in general, especially rats, can be very cautious around traps and difficult to catch. So for best results, we're gonna have to trick them. To do that, we're gonna add the stopper rod. This keeps the floor from going down and keeps the trap from working. That way they have a solid path to the bait. Night after night they'll come along, feed on the bait, and leave. Then one night we'll pull a switcheroo. We'll pull out the rod and activate the trap door. Then when they come along like normal to feed, they'll hit that bait station and get dunked. They'll end up in the cage below and it'll reset for the next rat. Come along, solid, solid, solid. Step on the bait tray, release the lever. Again, the trap door goes down. So if we do this right by the end of the night, the cage will be full of rats. But for at least a week before that, they're gonna feed in the station. Now I'm curious if we can outsmart the rats, but first we're gonna test it out with our pet rats. Let's see what our rat thinks of the Ulick repeater trap. That didn't take long. Let's get another rat. Your turn. Man, you instantly catch them. Let's go get some more rats. Let's see what the hairless female thinks. Come on down the plank. And another one. This thing is working perfectly. One more. This could be the best rat trap i ever seen. We're gonna take out our pet rats, then go set this up in the chicken coop and try to get the wild Norway rats. They are very difficult to catch. Maybe the smell of my pet rats will bring them in.
What an awesome rat trap. The best I ever tested. In the first night, I caught seven. That's a personal record for me. We caught two large ones and five small ones. So this trap works on all sizes of rats. Brown or Norway rats can be very difficult to catch. They're trap shy. They don't like going in cages. But with this trap, we outsmarted them. They became very comfortable at feeding at the station. Then we pulled the pin and got them. They walk down the plank and get dunked and you end up with a cage full of rats. Now seven rats is nothing compared to Joseph Carter and his mink. The mink man sometimes gets 150 rats. That's huge. But if you don't have mink and dogs, you might consider getting the Ulick repeater trap. At $200, it's kind of expensive, but if you have a rat problem, it's worth it. Now the question is, what should we do with these rats? These are not a native species. They're invasive and destructive. So I can't let them go in the wild. But I also have a bunch of pet rats. I don't need any more. Plus, these are hard to tame. They tend to bite. And I can see parasites like fleas, ticks, and botfly maggots in them. And who knows what disease they have. Now lately, the YouTube algorithm loves YouTube channels from Asia that take captive rats and throw them on glue traps or shock them with electricity till they catch on fire. If you search mouse or rat trap, those are the videos YouTube is promoting. But I think that's cruel. You don't take caged animals and torture them. So I'm a little bit at a loss on what to do. I'll see if I can find someone with a snake and give it to them for a meal. But even though these are nasty wild rats, they're kind of cute. The mink man in a recent video took the babies, the small pinkies, and gave them to domestic rats. And the rats took in the orphans and cared for them. Rats are very maternal. They're an interesting social animal that has thrived in urban environments. But if you have a problem with rats, I recommend the Ulick repeater trap. There's no website though, so to order it, you follow those instructions. Give me a holler on the computer, Ulick repeater at yahoo.com. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.